Like any star it will run out of fuel in its core and then it starts changing. It begins bloating and will engulf the orbits of Mercury and Venus coming very close to Earth. Betelgeuse is dying. This news has been a hard pill for scientists to swallow, but there is nothing they can do about it because the massive star is about to go supernova anytime soon. Astronomers say that it could be tomorrow next month or a few months from now. They don't know the exact date, but one thing is certain the famous Betelgeuse has reached its end and its death is about to change our lives. What's so special about the Betelgeuse supernova that has everyone frightened what would happen if this star exploded today as scientists have predicted join us on this intriguing journey as we explore the answers to these questions in today's video. NASA chief announces Betelgeuse supernova is exploding in 2024. It is over nothing can be done to stop the impending doom. NASA chief cries out warning the world about the oncoming Betelgeuse supernova that could change the trajectory of the planet and life as we know it. Betelgeuse's end is imminent like a terminally ill patient it is drawing closer to its grave. It's only a matter of time before the famous star explodes and ceases to exist. For decades now astronomers have been fascinated by Betelgeuse spending time studying the star's features and oncoming explosions. That which astronomers have greatly feared is about to happen there is no stopping the inevitable. Betelgeuse is headed for extinction and its end is coming sooner than we anticipated. Betelgeuse is one of the most remarkable stars we have in the Milky Way and has captivated astronomers and stargazers for centuries. For a long time astrophysicists have been mesmerized by this reddish semi-variable star whose apparent magnitude varies between 0.2 and 1.2. When compared with other stars Betelgeuse emerges as the first magnitude star with the widest range. The classical astronomer Ptolemy described Betelgeuse as more or less orange. Ptolemy who was an Alexandrian mathematician astrologer astronomer and geographer spent years studying Betelgeuse. His research and observations gave astronomy one of the early descriptions of the red giant star. It would amuse you to know that even the aboriginal groups in South Australia shared oral tales of the variable brightness of Betelgeuse for at least 1,000 years. However advancements in astronomy have given astronomers a more accurate picture of Betelgeuse and its characteristics. The red supergiant star is found in the constellation of Orion and is one of the biggest stars out there. Red supergiant stars are some of the largest and most massive stars in the universe their diameter which ranges from 100 million to 1 billion kilometers makes them one of the wonders of the Milky Way. If we were to place Betelgeuse beside the sun, the star is 100 to 1000 times wider than our sun. From research scientists tell us that a red giant star is a dying star in the final stages of evolution. Despite the shared features between a red supergiant star and a red giant star there's a major difference between them. Unlike the red giant that can be formed when a star with the mass of our sun runs out of fuel a red supergiant emerges when a star with more than 10 solar masses begins this phase. A red supergiant star is formed when it runs out of fuel to burn in its core and as the star exhausts its fuel it can no longer create the heat and pressure needed to support its weight causing it to collapse. Betelgeuse's amazing personality extends to its brightness as it is the tenth brightest star in the night sky and the second brightest in its constellation falling right behind Rigel. However if we were to travel at near infrared wavelengths no other star would take Betelgeuse's crown as the brightest star in the night sky. The sun's brightness dims significantly when placed beside the gigantic frame of Betelgeuse. The red supergiant star's radius is 640 times that of the sun. If by some magical wand, we could place Betelgeuse at the center of our solar system its surface would lie beyond the asteroid belt and it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. From the calculations made by scientists over the years Betelgeuse's mass is estimated to range between 10 and 20 times that of the Sun. The most shocking news that has been uncovered about this star is that it is about 600 light years away from the Sun so technically it's in the neighborhood. Astronomers have been unable to shake off the surprise they felt when they found out that Betelgeuse is less than 10 million years old. By cosmic standards it is a young star it is a little child when compared to our ancient sun which is about 5 billion years old. However whatever Betelgeuse loses to age it makes up for in size. Betelgeuse's size overshadows most of the stars in the universe. Although scientists have done their best to get the precise diameter of Betelgeuse it has been a Herculean task because it is a pulsating star. 
This means that its diameter changes with time. Another reason this vital information has eluded scientists is that Betelgeuse has no definable edge as limb darkening causes the optical emissions to vary in color and decrease the farther one extends out from the center. Furthermore Betelgeuse is surrounded by a circumstellar envelope composed of matter ejected from the star thereby making it difficult to define the photosphere of the star. Moreover the star's apparent size is dependent on the wavelength used. As if this is not enough atmospheric twinkling also plays its part in limiting the resolution obtainable from ground-based telescopes since turbulence degrades angular resolution. You can see that there is a host of forces making it hard to accurately determine Betelgeuse's diameter. However, this has not stopped scientists from coming up with estimates of what they believe this gigantic star's diameter would look like. Besides the star's diameter another puzzle that Betelgeuse has posed to scientists is the complex dynamics of its extended atmosphere. Scientists are well aware of the fact that the mass that makes up galaxies is recycled as stars are formed and destroyed. However they have yet to answer the question of how mass is lost. As exciting as this mystery might sound it is nothing compared to the latest development that scientists uncovered from studying Betelgeuse. It is no secret that Betelgeuse has a large mass, but what many don't know is that this is why it has evolved rapidly over the years. In mathematical terms, we can draw a straight-line graph from Betelgeuse's increasing mass to its evolution for millions of years now. On this note, you won't be thrown off guard by the bombshell we are about to drop next Betelgeuse is dying soon. The red giant star is expected to terminate its evolution when it experiences a supernova explosion anytime from now. As soon as astronomers discovered that Betelgeuse was bound to supernova the scientific community was on high alert. A supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star. Scientists have explained that a supernova occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into runaway nuclear fusion. What then happens is that the original object, which is known as a progenitor would either collapse into a neutron star or black hole or be utterly destroyed to form a diffuse nebula. If Betelgeuse explodes today the peak optical luminosity of the supernova can be compared to that of an entire galaxy before fading after several weeks or months. The sheer sight of this event would either scare or excite its viewers. Another intriguing fact about this red giant star is that it is visible to the naked eye at night. However researchers still can't wrap their heads around the fact that the red supergiant is almost unobservable from the ground between May and August because it is close to the sun. This is one of the mysteries surrounding Betelgeuse. Another exciting one for the books is that Betelgeuse is one of the three stars that make up the winter triangle asterism and it marks the center of the winter hexagon. From the beginning of January every year the star can be seen rising in the east just after sunset. By mid-September to mid-March it is visible to virtually every inhabited region in the world except Antarctica at latitude south of 82 degrees. So on a typical day once daylight says goodbye to the earth and the night's darkness sets in it is possible to spot Betelgeuse among the array of stars that adorn the sky. So if Betelgeuse were to explode today everyone would see its aftermath. It would be as visible as if we were watching a 3D live action movie. Everyone would be aware that something has gone off in the Milky Way. The supernova would appear as a very bright point of light in the sky potentially casting shadows at night. Betelgeuse's supernova would shine as bright as the half-moon for more than three months changing the face of what happens on Earth. If you doubt this remember that Betelgeuse is just 642 light-years away from the Earth. Figuratively speaking the star is our back-door neighbor. There is no running away from the inevitable. We are bound to feel the impact of this mighty explosion. Before we get ahead of ourselves, let's calm our nerves with a little humor. An exploding star does not mean that we are witnessing the end of the world. It would have been catastrophic if Betelgeuse were just 30 light years away but the enormous distance separating Betelgeuse from Earth makes the explosion harmless to us. But this doesn't mean that Betelgeuse's supernova would come and go without leaving its mark on Earth. One of the significant impacts of Betelgeuse's supernova on Earth is that it would disrupt radio communication for months. The giant explosion would form a neutron star that will emit radio signals, which would in turn interfere with any form of radio communication on Earth. Scientists are not even sure if the effect would last for a few months years or forever. They are certain that it would affect satellite and GPS navigation mobile phones and television. 
If Beetlejuice goes supernova, we are bound to say goodbye to our favorite TV programs for a long time. Perhaps we would need to find other hobbies to replace the hours we spend before our TV screens.